And you have this throughout the Bible. So you look at the book of Revelation as a classic case in point. Again, it's dealing with seven churches in the epicenter of a Caesar cult. But in the end, John talks about that I see a new heaven. It's coming down from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully adorned for a husband. I hear a loud voice from the throne saying, now the dwelling of God is with man. He will live with him. You have this escalation from the current situation to the eternal situation. We're always called to raise our eyes and look at eternity because this life is just a drop in the ocean of eternity. So all of the books of the Bible underscore that in red, if you would. Yeah, if you look at those last two chapters, it's amazing how it goes all the way back to the book of Genesis. You know, the tree of life is there. Then you talk about the new heavens and the new earth. Isaiah talks about that in Isaiah 65 and 66. Again, you can't understand a book like the book of Revelation without understanding the Old Testament and all of those allusions to the Old Testament. We already saw that the beasts that are mentioned and and of course, new heavens and new earth. And you mentioned stars falling, not just one star falling, but you got in Revelation chapter six, you got a third of the stars fall from heaven and hit the earth. That language is, again, judgmental language that we read about elsewhere in scripture. And that's how you understand the Bible. You don't have to be a Bible scholar. You don't have to go to seminary. I mean, all, some of that all helps. But it's all there in the pages of Scripture. In fact, you know, you and I have been discussing this almost for an hour and a half. And you think about it, we haven't gone outside the Bible to interpret the Bible. We use the Bible to interpret itself, taking the words of the Bible seriously, applying Scriptures with other Scriptures, showing how they were used in one context, and see how they're used in another context. This is how you do Bible study. Anyone can do it. Some are better at it than others, as in all cases. But we use the Bible to interpret the Bible. The Bible is the best interpreter of itself. 